never seen any evidence that the Moors were in ancient America. I've never seen evidence of a Moorish map that outlined America. So, yeah, certainly, um, Dr. Van Sertiman points out in the came for Columbus that Native Americans that Europeans encountered, you know, indicated that they had been trading with Africans for a very long time. But if Columbus doesn't come until 1492, several of his voyages are in 1492 and Pizarro and Balboa and these guys, uh, that could, um, that doesn't necessarily indicate an ancient trade. Remember now, we're looking at thousands of years, so it's dangerous to generalize and lump it together like it all happened within a space of a few years or, or that Africans are monolithic. Africa is closer to America than Europe is. And it's been proven that if you get on the right current from West Africa, you're going to sail to America whether you want to or not. If you have enough food and water and you get on a raft, you'll end up in the Americas. It may take you a month or two months. So the idea that Africans were not in America is, is really preposterous. If Europeans could come, and Europe is farther from America than Africa is, and the currents, I mean, on one of his voyages, Columbus even came from the west coast of Africa, I think from the Gulf of Guinea. But I've never seen any evidence of Moors in America. Uh, I've never seen a Moorish map that indicated that they were aware of the existence of what we call America today. There's a great scholar, the scholar who molded me the most, reading his book, Destruction of Black Civilization, used to say, his name is Chancellor Williams, and he used to say, the African historian must be on a relentless search for truth and must not tremble with fear when that truth is contrary to what we would prefer to believe. I think that our ancestors, who were taken out of the door of no return, who were captured and enslaved and brought to America, our ancestors who were raped and brutalized and nearly exterminated by Europeans, they deserve the truth. I think that we owe them honesty and not just to say things that make us look good. You know, and so I'm very down on a lot of the people who, in my opinion, are simply making history up. And I don't think that makes us look good. I think it makes us look foolish. And so there are many people today who create a kind of a fiction or romantic version of history that doesn't correspond to reality. And so when I hear about the Moors in ancient America and the Moors drawing maps, and I don't see any evidence of that, I, I shy away from that.